Ah yes, the world of Pokemon card collecting. We all know the crazy prices certain Pokemon cards might fetch. But what if I told you that you don't need that first edition base set Charizard? Over the last 25 years the Pokemon company has released so many amazing sets and there are literally thousands of cards that definitely deserve to be in your collection. Hello everybody, this is Budget Pokemon and in today's video I want to show you 10 cards that definitely deserve to be in your collection. And the best part about them? They're all under 15 euros each. So this video is going to be split into three categories. Starting off we're going to have some trainer cards, after that we're going to have some ultra rare Pokemon cards, and after that we're going to have some vintage cards. It's going to be epic. So, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. As the first card featuring on our list today we're going to have Marnie's Pride from Brilliant Stars which is currently available for 12 euros. Now this is an amazing looking card, of course you have Marnie, a very popular character from Pokemon Sword and Shield, and of course you can see her wearing her gym leader uniform as well as the Dusk Ball in hand, alluding to the fact that of course that she is a dark Pokemon type trainer, and for 12 euros is an absolute steal, as compared to the Japanese version which actually goes around for 400 euros on a good day. Now the reason why that card is so expensive in Japanese is because it was part of the Starter Deck 100 expansion that was released at the end of the year. The basic gist of that expansion was that there are a hundred different decks and certain decks contained rare cards, for example that Marnie card or also the Golden Birds that we ended up getting in Brilliant Stars as well, so so lots of uh, lots of good pulls in Brilliant Stars. But anyways, let's uh, stop going off topic and move on to the second card on our list, which is Professor Burnett from VMAX Climax, currently available for about 8 euros. Now we actually did get the Professor Burnett card as part of the Celebrations expansion, but we didn't get the full art version of it, so this is still a Japanese exclusive card, and of course it features Professor Burnett, another very popular character, this time from the Pokemon Sun and Moon games, and all around for 8 euros, this is an absolute steal. And the last card in our trainer card category, it's Adaman from Astral Radiance, currently available for 9 euros. And of course, as the name would suggest, it features Adaman, the Diamond Clan leader from Pokemon Legends Arceus, and my personal favorite character of that game. So let's move it on to our second category, Ultra Rare Pokemon cards. We're gonna start it off with Umbreon and Darkrai GX from Unified Minds, currently available for 10 euros. An absolute marvelous illustration by the legend himself, Mitsuhiro Arita. Of course you have Umbreon, a very popular Pokemon, and Darkrai sitting on the rooftops at night. Very fitting for both of these Pokemon, and I really do hope that the Pokemon company brings back tag team cards at some point. Now for our second card, we're gonna actually have two cards here. They kind of follow the same theme, similar to the Umbreon and Darkrai you're gonna see in a second here, which is Reshiram and Zekrom GX and Solgaleo and Lunala GX from Cosmic Eclipse and both available for 8 euros and 5 euros respectively. Now what is incredible for both of these cards is that they feature a character from their generations, which is for Reshiram and Zekrom GX, you have N in the background there, and for Solgaleo and Lunala GX you have Lily riding on Solgaleo's back, very nice illustration for both of these cards and should definitely be part of your collection. Now for the last card in our ultra rare Pokemon card category, we have Dragonite V from Evolving Skies, available for just under 15 euros. Now this is a really cool illustration from Saki Hayashiro. It features Dragonite, one of the original 151 Pokemon, a very popular Pokemon and all around a very nice card. Now this might get a little bit cheaper, if the leaks are correct that we do get another reprint of Evolving Skies in August, I sure hope so. There are a few more cards I want to pull myself, but other than that, even for under 15 euros, this is an absolute steal. Now moving on to our vintage card category, we're gonna start it off with God of War EX from EX Sandstorm, also available for just under 15 euros. Now, as someone whose favorite generation is in fact Generation 3, I just had to put a Generation 3 Pokemon in here, and it's even better than this is from the EX era of Pokemon, which is my personal favorite sets of all time. I really like the EX Pokemon, this was around the time when I started collecting. These are very nostalgic to me personally, and this card itself is very incredible looking and should definitely be in your collection. For the second card we're gonna have Ampharos from Neo Genesis, 
currently available for 12 euros. Of course, this is from Neo Genesis, as I've already said, one of the original Wizards of the Coast sets, featuring a beautiful illustration from Ken Sugimori. And for a card from that era of Pokemon, this is an absolute steal. For the last card in our vintage card category, we're gonna have a card from the Diamond and Pearl era of Pokemon. It's Mewtwo Level X from the 2008 Collector's Tins, currently available for 10 euros. Now, of course, it does feature Mewtwo, a very popular Pokemon, once again, one of the original 151. The artwork itself is very nice looking. You have Mewtwo kind of leaning out of the frame, really coming at you, looking really, really slick. And of course, with the Level X Pokemon being the successors to the old school EX Pokemon, this is just another one of my personal favorites and should definitely be in your collection as well. Now, as a little bonus card at the end here, we're gonna have Mega Alakazam EX from Fates Collide, currently available for just under 15 euros. Now, this is a really underappreciated artwork and card in my opinion. You have Mega Alakazam in the middle meditating, you have at the top the Japanese riding for Zen Force and the spoons levitating around Alakazam. A really cool illustration by Five Band Graphics. Many people don't like them for their art style, but this is a nice centerpiece for any collection, that's for sure. So there you have it, folks. Those were 10 cards for just under 15 euros. I really hope that you did enjoy, and I really hope that I did get to show you some of the more underappreciated cards that still look amazing and should be a part of your collection. If you did, in fact, enjoy it, I would really be happy about a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more content coming soon. I have an opening planned, I have a Nuzlocke planned, a few more of these kind of lists of underappreciated cards for a set budget. So it's gonna be epic. But anyways, thank you for watching and goodbye.